Wow. Good Sunday morning to everybody. It's a nice, crisp, sunny morning. And uh, really looking forward to what's going to go on today. Our God encounter. And I just feel that like anointing for the signs and wonders this morning. And just a fantastic morning in the Lord. I know. I know it's going to be. I'm really excited about getting together. It's been quite a week. It really has been quite a week. And um, as, as we read through uh, the Gospels this morning, um, I come across the, uh, the parable of the seeds. And I'm not going to go into the seeds today. And there's, there, In fact, there's so much in this one passage all in the kingdom. Just incredible stuff. But the, the thing that, that, that struck me, has always struck me all my life, especially as a kid, is on how unfair it seemed that Jesus would tell these parables and these teachings, knowing that people were blinded to it, that they, they were deaf and they, they couldn't understand. And uh, when his disciples asked him about it, he said, yeah, the secrets in the kingdom haven't been given to them, it's been given to you. Uh, so why bother teaching, right? Why bother telling them? Well, it's because the, the kingdom is so precious. It, um, it, it can't be, it, it's like, when Jesus said, don't throw your, your pearl before the swine. Okay, um, because they'll trample all over it, and then they'll turn on you. The kingdom is intended for those who are seeking it. it it's not and it's not to be treated like a, a common commodity, something that's out there just as, as, a, as a choice. As sometimes we market it, we, we make it one of, of many choices. Uh, that's why the current teaching in a lot of places is that Jesus is just one choice. There's a lot of paths uh, to the Father. Uh, and there's not. There's only one path. His name is Jesus, and there's only one kingdom, and uh, and so it's been hidden. It's been hidden, so that, so that only those who really seek it, those who are desperate for it, those who want to discover the secrets, those who press in, those who chase after it, those who look for the face of God, the presence of God, will discover it. But it. it, it it has to be a desire. It has to be a desperation of the soul. It has to be a crying out. And when that happens, then these secrets are revealed. It's, it's Jesus describes it as, as finding a, a treasure in a field. You know, it's so precious that you, you sell everything to possess it. Um, and this is how the kingdom is to be treated. Not as not as something that there's any options to. The, the word says that uh, it's God's pleasure to hide things. And it's the, the, the pleasure of kings that seek them out. These things aren't hidden from us. They're hidden for us. They're for us to discover. God hides them in the desire for us to find them. But to find them, we have to seek them. It's, it's like the principle that we often teach our kids. If we give them something, they're going to abuse it, lose it. It's, it's not going to be precious to them. But if it's something that they have to work for, if it's something that they earn, uh, if it's cost them, then it's going to be something that's more precious to them. That's a valuable lesson. That's a lesson that gets applied to the kingdom. And this is why these things are, are hidden. These, these are the reason why we, we have to seek these things out. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's a, an important revelation and understanding. I hope you can grasp that. And I hope you can become desperate for the kingdom so that you can discover these, these secrets, these revelations, these things that he wants us to have. So you have a, a blessed day. Those of you who are joining us at the servant's house, we will see you soon. And if not, then I just pray that you'll enjoy your tribe today. God bless.